Hey guys, what's going on? It's Man Mumble King Clutch here, and today guys, we are back. It's really early morning, literally, it's like 7 o'clock. I got up just to record this video for you guys. It's for you guys first, and then I will go over you everything. And then, um, also by playing each of these, you earn the summer credit, which can be used towards this. I'll show you guys that later, too. Um, and then with the packs, I'll show you guys those, too, but that's new, too. So it's first through 11 points win. So it is like, look, does look like a pretty cool, like, idea. I like this because it keeps the game going, guys. Like, that's what I really do like, how it keeps the whole the energy of the game. Like, it keeps it alive. It's not like Madden Mobile where they're not adding anything and it makes the game dead. This is a completely new promo. And then it just said, it just said first through 11 points, so I'm assuming it's not like win by two it's just whoever gets to 11 first wins not much but okay wow we do get the roll there so we did get the w on that one guys i know i cut through the gameplay i wasn't gonna make you guys watch a whole 11 point game right, so under this next one this is the chicago one if the courts kind of look different that'd be cool i'm pretty sure the seattle one does look different because i remember like qj i didn't watch a ton of these videos i watched qjv's one video of the actual gameplay but other than that okay this one looks dope oh gosh this looks really cool guys i like how they have like the summer court jerseys and everything too like i realized i really like that because it's not just like they threw it together real quick, the whole promo. They actually put time into it and actually, like, this is a huge update. Like, I'm not even, they added, like, 100 new players. They added, I mean, because the players probably aren't too hard to add. But, I mean, they added all these new courts. They added a ton of stuff, which is cool because it keeps energy flowing for the game. I love this because it, it makes people want to play. And, guys, it said this uh, promo ends in 88 days, which is about three months from now, and I don't know what today is. Assuming the reset for the game will be when this promo expires in about three months. I think I did notice, so they still do have Jimmy Butler on the uh, uh, Bulls. Like, you'd think they would have, I mean, they probably loaded the, the um, teams and everything in before the trades and everything. And again, I like how they have the game point thing up there, so then, like, you know. Like, I mean, if you weren't really paying attention. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's just another feature, little thing they added that's small. But objectives here. Like, almost, oops, I wasn't paying attention there. But um, this one, I don't know if this is, like, I remember something with NBA Live 17. It was something to do with this. Like, how they had this with, I don't remember the mode name. It was, like, their version of My Park. And it was, it was cool looking because it had, like, it had like all the courts, it had like Rucker Park and all those kind of things. So while in 2K, it's just the one, it's just a three parks pretty much. So I mean, I think that's kind of cool. Summertime court collectibles. I'll just open these so I have these and then I'll go open up some of the packs from the store guys. And oh, I'll overview everything that open those up. I just wanted to show you guys everything that we have. So these are from the live events guys. Definitely play those and do get those achievements done, the objectives done. Or summer courts, which these are, you need 10 of these um, hoop collectibles or these summertime collectibles, which I have. That gives you one, that gives you one gold player, um, a gold or better player so it can be an elite obviously but the chance of being that it being that is really low but you can never really get an elite out of those then they have these which is 10 golds for one elite pretty self-explanatory then they have this which is 10 um golds to get an elite brooklyn player pack now i'm assuming down the road they're gonna add different cities they're not just gonna keep it to brooklyn they'll probably add like a boston a los angeles and etc and like miami other places too so that'd be cool i'd really like to see that so then they'll ha definitely have that now this is how you can get a 99 Allen iverson you need 25 gold players, 25 summer court elite players, which is going to be a little bit of a pain to do, but as long as you know you can continue with these sets, is this one here, and then you have to actually beat the event to get this one. So, you, But really to get a 99 Iverson, that's kind of cool. I like that, and I like this whole uh, map thing, how it has like the Venice Beach, Miami type thing with the palm trees. Uh, that's pretty cool. So they have those up top, and then I'm assuming uh, they'll add like the new... Um, They'll have a new Brooklyn. It won't be Brooklyn court. It will be a different court. Then they have these, which these 5,000 or 5,000 coins. And then these, I don't know exactly how you get. Summer court pack. And then this one up here is a um, an elite player. So that's seven of the elite objectives. Once you complete all five or six or how many ever there is, then you need to turn in seven of those collectibles. And then you get an elite uh, summer course player, which is definitely cool. Definitely, definitely cool. Now, these, these next parts are honestly probably my favorite, and then I'll show you before I do these, I'll show you guys the um, bosses. So, they have this, which is again, it's just um, 10 or it's five of these uh, court collectibles. I didn't actually look at this one earlier. So, um, this it's whoa, this is quite a bit. So, it's a special pack that guarantees one of the following. So, it's not guaranteed. It's, so, it's either a summer course player, an elite summer course player, or another collectible. So there's a two-hour cooldown for that. That's a pretty cool one. I do like that. That's a good idea. They have these, which are cool. So this is where you trade in three gold players, and you get one summer court gold player. You trade in five elite, or yeah, five elite players, and then you get one um, summer court elite player. I'll go grab one more real quick. But 
Uh, and then they, I'll show you do those in a minute. But then there, these are summer bosses. These are cool guys. So that these are what those, you use those tokens for, those rep tokens. So right now, I just did complete this. You needed like 500. So you have to, once you, it's like, what was it? The Mobile Madness, I think, where you had to get a certain number of live events played. And you guys go up, it unlocks these different collectibles, like this three, the four, the five, and then it goes all the way up to a 97 overall Bernard King, which are cool. And then obviously each one needs a different requirement. But you need a little bit more of the next one. So these are really cool guys. And then they have this, which is a doc or was it the Dr. J Gauntlet, which is once you complete this Bernard King, you get him and a gauntlet token, which go into this Julius Irving set. And then once you okay, you have that's this token, that's the one on the second one. And then the uh Allen Iverson token is I'm assuming you get one once you beat the live event, also once you unlock it. So I'm, or you might just get two right off the bat once you finish his set. So then you'll get those, and then that little shit will be out of the way. And then eventually yeah, I'll add the other collectibles down the road. And then that will unlock Dr. J's gauntlet, which probably have new gauntlet masters. or I miss, That's what I'm going to call these, the new gauntlet, because I don't know who they'll be. Then they have new um, Brooklyn, but not a Brooklyn boss. It will be a different team, a different city boss, which is cool. So I'll definitely be grinding to get this done. It really isn't too difficult because the majority of these, all you need is the... Um, rep points uh, which are given to you except for the last one which are right here so you need a thousand um, which you can easily get from just you can continue playing these I'm pretty sure and continue to get the cred or you can just do that one set which you obviously need to wait but guys I would definitely do these objectives like every single day because as you guys saw in that second tab you can just sit there you could sit there and do these ones over and over again with these because that's the only thing you can use these for so you use those you use these that gets you an elite player and then once you do this it gives you these summer breeze packs which are in the store that cost they cost i think 500 uh, cash so i'll go look at these uh packs real quick guys so they have these they have all these they have a starter pack which i'll probably end up opening i really don't have enough cash to open these i don't like how they only put the summer courts pack in cash i mean it's a smart move by ea but it's kind of annoying so what i'm gonna do is i'll open up some of these pro packs i'll probably open maybe three and then I'll open some more later on. But, like, they have these bundles, obviously. And now these are what you get when you trade in, I think it was five of those um, weekly objective collectibles. You get um, two summer court uh, gold or elite players. You get uh, two regular gold or elite players. And then you get um, three collectibles, which is cool. So, guys, I'll go open three of these uh Packs. I do like the art. These are clean, like they're kind of orange colored. And then I'll open that, uh, I guess, that starter pack, too, which is a starter pack. This one, which is Bernard King, we'll open him up, and then we'll try to eventually get enough of those, um, what is it, those collectibles to evolve him and get him into a better version. So I guess we'll do the starter pack first. I don't even know what this has in it. I didn't read it. I just bought it anyways. <laughs> yeah, Rashawn Holmes. But these are those summer cred collectibles. You need 10 of them, and then that will eventually give you um, those, that will give you an extra 5,000 cred, and then they have more collectibles. There's another uh, Canavius Call of Pope, and then there's more uh, court collectibles, which are cool. So guys, then we got these pro packs. We'll change, so we get a Wesley Matthews. Um, and I don't know really any of the elites. I'll open one of the elite exchanges so we get um, Kadavius Call of Pope again. Oh, uh, but that was a different lineup, so that's cool. You know, you can use them. Okay, and we get Austin Rivers. Um, I'm just curious, is this three high? Okay, no, not at all. But, um, so guys, we didn't get much out of those. With these, it's just like you trade in three random gold players, and then you get one of these gold summertime players back. It could be a gold or better, I'm not sure, though. And then it's just, you know, exchange them, and then you do get a new one, which is cool. So then you can use those for the sets. Then they have this one, which I really like. Five elites for one elite summertime player. You probably just have random elites lying around that no one's using that you just have sitting on your bench. So you can use these. Now, I don't, I know that I've seen a few of these cards. They do look pretty sick, guys. So hopefully we can get one of the better ones. I don't even know who there is, honestly. So then we did get a gold objectives collectible that's more summer credit, and then we'll eventually evolve that Bernard King. And then really the only one you have to work for is the 97, which is the final one, and you need like four of those Boston ones. So guys, hopefully, so we get something that good here. I'm just gonna flip it open. There's only one card, and we do get, okay, get Jahil Okafor, which might not be that good, but I guess I can throw him on that lineup as of right now, because I don't, I can't uh, do the sets right now. So we got another summer court um, collectible there, which is nice, which is nice. I do like that. And then here, guys, so what you would need is you would need 10 of these elite players to get one of these 91 plus um, uh, our Brooklyn players, and then you need four of those Brooklyn players to get this boss, Renard King. So that's kind of a cool thing, but it was going to be kind of hard. And then that will unlock this. We'll unlock one collectible for this, Dr. J. And then you'll eventually need to also do the Julie or the Allen Iverson, which is here, which you need 25 of these. 
So it is going to be a lengthy process, guys. But these are some sick cards, guys. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this little Summer Course promo overview. Hopefully they'll add some new packs soon, maybe tomorrow or something. Anyways, guys, it's been Animal King Clutch here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little Summer Court gameplay and the whole overview. Anyways, guys, have a great yesterday and peace out, guys. Thanks.